Een boek wie schreeuwt, een weilige, wat Barack Obama. Bringing lots of material about him, really very important to know. You must know it wasn't really a negative way. Or a, uh, <laughs> there is a people who believe. <laughs> they are definitely attached to their belief. It is right thing. Okay. Do you agree with their belief or not? They don't believe. <laughs> so there is a fact that it is uh, true. <laughs> yeah. So Obama, Barack Obama, no doubt, a man who is very close to his religion, Islam. And really, so much material here, all taken for sources, is not Mars, but clearly tell us what he is, and you understand, yeah, he believes in Islam, and <laughs> in fact, he's written that this was a blessing that Abraham gave to Ishmael. Yeah. This is a blessing which he gave them, that he will distribute the faith in one God, monotheism, right? He's written as the sources of it, definitely. So, we have to understand things that if he wants very much the Islam to be like accepted by the world, whatever it is, you want to, the president who will be with the Biden of America, that the response is, so here I give you a piece of my book, yeah, which I bought, all my, what, what I bought is only material from taken from different places to know who is he. So here what I bought, Barack Obama, affinity for Islam, reveals itself in his selections of Dalia Mugaid to his advisory council on faith-based and neighborhood partnership. It was she who prepared his famous speech in Cairo, Egypt, or taken from places. Mugaid is a self-described expert on studying the way Muslim think. The left-wing media has dubbed her a Muslim moderate, but the American Daily Review questions these descriptions of Mugaya and expressed surprise at the presidential choice. It turns out that Mugaya is associated with a group that advocates engaging the very troublesome and, revi and radical Muslim Brotherhood, an organization which, among other things, supports GI. All this written, yeah? You can see so the sources, yeah? In addition, she was involved in a polling project that deliberately sought to sanitize the image of Muslim by distorting the effect of her survey. Perhaps you remember a Gallup survey that supposedly showed that Muslims have the same attribute as the rest of America. This survey conducted by Mughal declares that only 7% of Muslims are radical, while the same survey concluded that 36% of the Muslims approved the attack on the World Trade Center. Frightening. Mughal and a notorious colleague were exposed by Robert Sartloff, writing for the weekly standard. Sartloff takes a detailed look at the faulty conclusions Mugad presents to the world. Conclusions 
נטער, לא צפון, באיזה דאטה שיהיה פרזנס. אוקיי, all this definitely you can read in on jerusalem.com, on jerusalem world code, and other places that look in the book what I brought, all these things which I brought is simple to show, easy, and definitely bring in very significant tables about him, Torah code, yeah, so maybe I'll bring you some that you can see here, and as I said, we understand, we have to understand people believe her face, yeah. and uh, they are stuck to this, and they are behaving accordingly. Let us <laughs> hope that Jews will do the same thing, Jews who got Torah in Sinai, how sending Torah with beautiful laws, even for the Gentiles, even laws of Noah. No, unfortunately, uh, uh, situation Jews <laughs> don't stick so much to the tradition, apparently, as you can see about uh, Lapid and all these people who <laughs> ignore Shabbos and Torah and all these things. So, uh, <laughs> this is uh, unfortunately an uh, unfortunate situation. If Jews will keep the tradition, keep the Torah, the Shabbos, everything. Yeah, we'll be different world, yeah. Both of them, in future, is written that in future, really the Arabs, attitude to Israel will be different. Yeah, this really started with the Abraham Accord. Yeah, only the Democrats who don't believe, you know, the leftists disturb everything, but basically, there is a common thing between Jews and the Arabs. Believe in God, and this is a purpose. So, everyone, so one should know it yeah, very much. So here I have interesting table, really, quite few interesting, significant tables about Obama. Yeah, and you have to understand that this is a truth. Yeah. So here is a table. I hope you can see it, yeah? Yeah, this is, yeah. Obama the Muslim. Yeah, Obama the Muslim. So I tell you exactly what you have here more. So this is a table which appears in, mainly in the book of, yeah, Leviticus. And uh, basically interesting, in few chapters, in few chapters, and what appears is the following. You have here the name Obama, no, Obama, full writing with two alephim, you see from, from the top to the bottom, Obama. Then, on the right side, yeah, you have the Muslim, a Muslimi, the Muslim, yeah, a Muslimi. I think this is best uh, meeting of the Obama in the full writing with the Muslim. And you have also his, his first name, Barak, yeah. And this is really what I bought, because it's a fact, he's Muslim, definitely will behave accordingly. <laughs> that doesn't fit so much <laughs> with uh, Judaism, you know, as you understand. And this is the one to understand, this is a matter, the war is a matter of religion, not politics, nothing can be solved due through diplomacy and politics, but not as a source of everything is religion. The Islam want to rule the world, the Islam was as the world will believe in God, as I understand, and this is what they are aiming for, and this is what they are working for. Yeah, they don't mind the land, money, you can see there's such opportunities to have Gush Katif, beautiful places, and they were not interesting. They were interesting to destroy Israel because they feel that Israel 
on the Satan and disturb them to distribute their faith, yeah, and their Messiah. This is what they are doing. This is a fact. And unfortunately, trying to solve problems in the wrong way. There is another table which I did also about Obama, Islamic president of the state. Yeah, he's an enemy to us, you know that. What the hell? He's an enemy to all. So I tell you what you have in this table. Yeah, so you have in, you have here uh, Obama, in fact, is an enemy to us, as the Jews. And he's a president, Islamic, minimum is the Torah Islami, and in the United States, president. So basically what you have is that Obama, Islamic president of the state. Now what uh, Dr. Rottenberg wrote about is this, this is the second best meeting of the president of the state. So. There are more tables here, but this is what one should know, really. It's unfortunately that we don't realize. Yeah. You know that uh, I brought very interesting also parts about him, really being also a little bit of Edom, you yeah. know. Obama himself comes from both Edom, Christianity, and Ishmael. You yeah, know, his mother and father, Islam. He was born in Honolulu to a Kenyan father, a white American mother. His parents are met while studying at the East West Center at the University of Hawaii. His father family was Muslim, yeah. And his mother's Christian. He came to Hawaii from Kenya as part of an American program that provides opportunity for students from developing countries. Obama's mother and Dunham moved from Kansas to Hawaii with their parents. Madeline and Stanley Dunham years early became of their teaching positions in those days. Intercultural marriages were rare in the United States and even illegal in many states. All this is taken broad. So when Obama was six years old, his mother remarried to a Muslim, Indonesian citizen, and moved with his son to Jakarta, where he was enrolled as Muslim under the name Bari Sutor, his stepfather's name, whether he attended a public or Muslim school is irrelevant in Obama's biography. It is significant through to mention that according to Islam, a child born as a Muslim is considered a Muslim until the day of his death. Incidentally, Obama admits in one of his books that he studied the Quran as a student in Indonesia. So there's <laughs> a lot about him. And uh, it is so interesting that the Gimatia of Barack Obama Five for two is the same gemata like Edom and Ishmael. <laughs> Edom, yeah, Christianity and Ishmael, Arabs, unbelievable, this is what it is. So look, as I said, a lot I wrote about it. And all this, what I wrote in the book, I've taken from others. Right? I wanted that people would know exactly who is he, yeah. And we have to understand yeah, that people who are serious and believe in God and believe in their religion, so we do everything that it will be spread, it will be accepted. So 
יש לה הישג, לא רצו להיות שבא רצית בו הציר. אוקיי, דנה כי זה רלוונט נאו, זה כבר זה רלוונט שכבר היא רואה זה. אלקטד, יש אגרות בפור קלירלי, כי אמרנו קלירלי בפור, you could see it, it brought in few places, that ברק אובמה will be elected as a president, I found it before, everything can see the internet. So, as I said, in this book, you can get it in my site, gladersonbooks.com, and we'll, uh, we'll see him, who is he, you know, <laughs> we have to understand, really, a man of faith, belief, and naturally he wants to have spread it, and he sees in uh, Judaism, definitely, uh, opposition to this, but it is not the end, our <laughs> Rebbe tell us. that it will be, it will be peace with the Arabs and both of them will work together and spread monotheism in the world. Yeah, this is written clearly. There are indications that in the blessing which Isaac gave to Adam, sorry, to his son, Isaac, also it indicated it, I brought it, of a few books, clear indications that Ishmael will do like tshuva, repentance, in their attitude to Jews. They will realize there is a God. They realize there are the descendants of Abraham. They will understand that the, the purpose of Abraham, what he wanted Ishmael to spread this face, no doubt. But you know, the Satan is strong, you know. And, uh, but this is the truth. So I very much really recommend you to have this book. As I said, because you will see how much is written about it and how it fits with all what the Medrash, the Zohar says about the end of days. And I will see also what are the quotes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of things, a lot of interesting quotes here, I have, yeah. So, as I said, this is a situation we have to understand that we have a problem, we have a problem physically if that Amaleka will be chosen. So, no doubt that Obama, maybe she will take him as advisor. <laughs> Without taking him advice already, definitely no doubt that he will have a great impact. Because this is a truth. Let us, let us wish the Jews will the same thing. They will like to distribute their faith in one God, in the Torah, and Mitzvah, Gentiles. But it will come. Messiah will fix it. So as I said, interesting book. A lot material telling us what is the real situation and what is the real solution to our situation. Not diplomacy, not politics, only religion facing God and in the Torah.